was the night before Christmas, a season ruled by all-consuming desire. Desire for things, or for a quote perfect family experience, whatever the specifics. Existential thirst is the engine that drives the holiday machine. The children sleep, dreaming their materialistic dreams of the privileged classes. Even though the family is so poor that their children sleep too to a bed. They slumber peacefully, undisturbed by mousies. A great commotion intrudes upon this wintertime pastoral. The man leaps from his bed, clawing at the curtains and window dressing like a man possessed. And outside the window, there he is, our first vision of the famous spirit of Christmas, who judges godlike from afar all year long, and arrives on this night only to mete out reward and punishment. Still, he is less terrifying than the Krampus, Black Peter, or any one of a dozen old world Christmas boogeymen. The man, like most adults, had long believed Santa to be a tall tale, a myth told to children. What could it mean to his sense of reality if this figure truly existed? The baffling terror of having one's core beliefs shaken envelops the man like a fog. He rushes downstairs to see this legend-made flesh currently forcing its way into his home. Seen up close, he is less impressive than his Falstaffian reputation would suggest. He is short, even dwarfish in size, fat and old, his clothes filthy with the leavings of countless chimneys. Indeed, the author spends the next three stanzas simply lost in description of the intruder's corpulence and his ruddy, bulbous face. The mysterious dwarf teeters precariously on a tiny stool as he fills his stockings. He is barely larger than the slumbering children which he serves. There are so many questions the man would like to ask him, but before he can, the Christmas goblin scurries rat-like up the chimney and away. Although he knows the old man meant no harm, the narrator cannot help but be shaken to his very core, his sense of what is real and what is not forever twisted beyond recognition. This has been Twas the Night Before Christmas. I'm Werner Herzog. Merry Christmas, mein Fledermaus.